Psalms 119 verse 57 to 160 The Lord is my portion I promise to keep your words I implore your favor with all my heart Be gracious to me according to your promise When I think of your ways I turn my feet to your decrees I hurry and do not delay to keep your commandments Though the cords of the wicked ensnare me I do not forget your law At midnight I rise to praise you because of your righteous ordinances I am a companion of all who fear you of those who keep your precepts The earth O Lord is full of your steadfast love teach me your statutes You have dealt well with your servant O Lord according to your word teach me good judgment and knowledge for i believe in your commandments before i was humbled i went astray but now i keep your word you are good and do good teach me your statutes the arrogant smear me with lies but with my whole heart i keep your precepts their hearts are fat and gross but i delight in your law It is good for me that I was humble so that I might learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your hands have made and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you shall see me and rejoice because I have hoped in your word. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right and that in faithfulness you have humbled me let your steadfast love become my comfort according to your promise to your servant let your mercy come to me that i may live for your law is my delight let the arrogant be put to shame because they have subverted me with guilt as for me i will meditate on your precepts let those who fear you turn to me so that they may know your decrees May my heart be bail blameless in your statutes so that I may not be put to shame My soul languishes for your salvation I hope in your word My eyes fail with watching for your promise I ask when will you comfort me for I have become like a wine skin in the smoke yet I have not forgotten your statutes How long must your servant endure when will you judge those who persecute me the arrogant have dug pitfalls for me they flout your law all your commandments are enduring i am persecuted without cause help me they have almost made an end of me on earth but i have not forsaken your precepts in your steadfast love spare my life so that i may keep the decrees of your mouth The Lord exists forever. Your word is firmly fixed in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You have established the earth and it stands fast. By your appointment they stand today, for all things are your servants. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my misery. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. I am yours save me for I have sought your precepts the wicked lie in wait to destroy me but I consider your decrees I have seen a limit to all perfection but your commandment is exceedingly broad oh how I love your law it is my meditation all day long your commandment makes me wiser than my enemies for it is always with me I have more understanding than all my teachers for your decrees are my meditation. I understand more than the aged for I keep your precepts. I hold back my feet from every evil way. In order to keep your word, I do not turn away from your ordinances for you have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. Your word is lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn an oath and confirmed it to observe your righteous ordinances. 
I'm severely afflicted. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept my praise, my offering of praise, O Lord, and teach me your ordinances. I hold my life in my hand continually, but I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but I do not stray from your precepts. Your decrees are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. I incline my heart to perform your statutes forever to the end. I hate the double-minded, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Go away from me, you evil doers, that I may keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to your promise that I may live and let me not be put to shame in my hope. Hold me up that I may be safe and have regard for your statutes continually. You spurn all who go astray from your statutes, for their cunning is in vain. All the wicked of the earth you count as dross, therefore I love your decrees. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgment. I have done what is just and right. Do not leave me to my oppressor. Guarantee your servant's well-being. Do not let the godless oppress me. My eyes fail from watching for your salvation and for the fulfillment of your righteous promise. Deal with your servant according to your steadfast love and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me understanding so that I may know your decrees. It is time for the Lord to act, for your law has been broken. Truly, I love your commandments more than gold, more than fine gold. Truly, I direct my steps by all your precepts. I hate every false way. Your decrees are wonderful, therefore my soul keeps them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. With open mouth I pant, because I long for your commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me, as is your custom towards those who love your name. Keep my steps steady according to your promise. Evan, never let iniquity have dominion over me. Redeem me from human oppression, that I may keep your precepts. Make your face shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. My eyes shed streams of tears, because your law is not kept. You are righteous, O Lord, and your, right, and your judgments are right. You have appointed your decrees in your righteousness and in all faithfulness. My zeal consumes me because my foes forget your words. Your promise is well tried, and your servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have come upon me. But your commandments are my delight. Your decrees are righteous forever. Give me understanding that I may live. With my whole heart I cry, Answer me, O Lord, I will keep your statutes. I cry to you, save me, that I may observe your decrees. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I put my hope in your words. My eyes are awake before each watch of the night, that I may meditate on your promise. In your steadfast love, hear my voice. O Lord, in your justice, preserve my life. Those who persecute me with evil purpose draw near, they are far from your law. Yet you are near, O Lord, and all your commandments are true. Long ago I learned from your decrees that you have established them forever. Look on my misery and rescue me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Give me life according to your promise. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great is your mercy, O Lord. Give me life according to your justice. Many are persecutors and my adversaries, yet I do not swerve from your decrees. I look at the faithless with disgust because they do not keep your commands. Consider how I love your precepts. 
Preserve my life according to your steadfast love. The sum of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous ordinances endures forever.